All right. Happy to have Bo Scaife in the Fox 7 studios. For all you new, I guess, sports fans to Austin, Texas, Bo used to run things with the, uh, with the horns. Uh, <laughs> been drafted in, what, 05? Yep. Nice uh, eight-year NFL career, mostly with the Titans. Okay, now that we, we've helped them out. So now, life after football, you're doing some really big things. Tell me about Fresh Ed and what you have planned for Tuesday night. Well, uh, you know, one thing I learned from the NFL was the positive social influence that athletes have. And one thing I wanted to do was find a way to maximize, do, maximize doing that. And what better way to do that is than to harvest the information, the experiences, the lessons they learned from all these guys and use it to inspire and encourage people. So um, I came up with this event concept. It's, it's not nothing new, you know, it's an interactive discussion panel. But, you know, when you hear the stories from the athletes from themselves and you find a way to relate it to your own life, you know, it, it's so, you get a lot of gratitude from that on both sides, the person that's listening and, and the panelists itself. So being able to package these events together and, uh, you know, help my guys tell their story, uh, it's wonderful to me. Well, and because you played when you did with the guys and the coaches you had, you have some star power up on the stage with you on Tuesday. I mean, Mac Brown, Vince Young, these are guys sharing what, what they're all about. How cool is it when you're up there on a stage with, with guys like that and you can see the synergy that, that, that's, that's happening? I've already kind of told myself, like, try not to get emotional because I know I'm probably going to get emotional up there because, you know, Max done so much for me. Vince has done so much for me. I came to Texas because of Ricky Williams. Mm -hmm. And Casey Stutter is a, has been a friend of mine since I was in high school, a loyal friend. So there's a, so much emotion involved with all four of those guys. So I'm going to have to try to hold back those tears and not, not be a wimp. But it's just great to share the stage from them with them and, and just be able to tell our stories and the lessons we learn and, and hopefully inspire people to help them in their own lives. Yeah, so you, you're, the, the event is going to help kids. Um, do you find that you're also talking to kids? Who, who makes up this audience? Is it a lot of Longhorn football fans that just want to hear from you, or do they, do they bring some of these youngsters with them? I think the event's unique because it's not really sports-specific. Obviously, you have these sports guys up there, these sports personalities, but they're talking about life. Mm -hmm. And so there's things that everyone can relate to, whether you're changing your career or making a transition or trying to get a new start. There's so many different topics in the age groups, demographics that we're mm -hmm. touching to. Um, the one I had in Denver, I had a bunch of accountants and lawyers in there. Mm -hmm. And um, there's so many things that football is transferable to with life mm -hmm. that helps people out. So it's, it's a family event. It's for young professionals students, parents, I mean, you're, everyone's going to be able to grab something from this event. Yeah, you know, and you're talking about life lessons and all that. When anybody sees Bo Scaife, they think, talented tight end, made it to the league, stuck. Man, he had to deal with a lot of pain. What did you learn uh, physically, emotionally about yourself with your, God, was it six years out of, uh, on the 40 acres? Well, you know, I tell this story a lot, and... You know, I was one of those guys, I saw my dreams go down the drain, like, I seen that picture in my in my head where you know it's over. Yeah. And I sat in Coach Brown's office, and you know we talked about a lot of things, and I talked about quitting and and giving up. And there was just something inside of me that didn't let me do that. And so I'm thankful for you know Coach Brown and the supportive people that I've had in my life, and especially myself, just believing that I could bounce back. Um, and it's it seemed to work out for me, and I'm just proud that I'm here today, and, and very very blessed. You know, the whole giving back thing, I think it, it becomes kind of natural the older you get. But what, who put it in your heart? Was it, was it the experience here at UT? Was it Mac Brown? When did it start and start growing that you were going to give back eventually? When you, when you get to live your dream of playing in the NFL, which that's most guys' dream, you know, when they get there, you're like, you can't really imagine it until you're there. Mm -hmm. But being able to play in the NFL and see all that stuff and see the impact I've had on younger people, on older people, and just being able to touch them and, and feel them and help them in their lives, it's something that just grew in me while I was there. Yeah. Being able to see how I put smiles on these people's faces just by shaking their hand or, mm -hmm. or saying hi to them or taking pictures with their kids. So it's just natural for me now to send the elevator back down and help mm -hmm. people to achieve their goals and achieve their dreams and knowing that I have the ability to do that. And most athletes have that same ability. So teaching them and helping them ways to do that, give them ways to do that themselves. Yeah, how big do you see Fresh Ed getting? What is your big picture goal for this brand? I, I really can't put a, a size on it. Mm -hmm. I, you know, there's athletes all over the world. So, you know, that, that gives you a little perspective of, 
you know, where I'm thinking, you know, being global mm -hmm. um, and athletes are looked up to all over the world. In Europe, we have soccer. You don't think a bunch of kids or people love their soccer teams over there. Right. You know, Australia, we have rugby. So mm -hmm. being able to find a way to, you know, scale this thing and, and find a way to make it a win-win for the athletes and all the people who love the athletes, I think is, uh, you know, going to be the challenge, but it's something that's not not feasible at all. I, yeah. could, I could know I could do it. I'm already doing it. And... I'm just tweaking things, and it's yeah. going to continue to grow as I continue to do this. Well, you've always been a personable guy. You made a few pretty good friends along the way that could help you out with this uh, as you grow it. it. Right, and, and that, that's, the, that's the thing I have going for me, you know, my resources. And I'm just so blessed to have be able to cross paths with a bunch of these guys, Hall of Famers, mm -hmm. friends, you know, teammates, coaches. There's so many unique personalities that I've gotten to, you know, share time with in my career and I'm just excited to be able to bring these kind of opportunities to them to you know maximize like I said that positive social influence that they have and you know a lot of guys aren't willing to create things but when you bring them opportunities especially you make it a win-win for both sides um, they're very very receptive to it and I think that's what I'm doing. How, how many hours you you go at this thing? It's, it seems like a full-time job. When I uh, retired from the NFL which I was with the Patriots mm -hmm. Um, and I just realized, you know, then I didn't want to play football anymore. I, I enrolled in business school at George Washington University in D.C. And that's where all this kind of manifested. Mm -hmm. And I was in a class with about 20 other guys that played in the NFL. And so it was like, here's my target audience yeah. helping me build this. And, and just to see the, the strides that I've made in a, in a year, um, the ideas have, and the visions that have came to me and, mm -hmm. and where we're going, I'm just... I'm really, really proud, and I'm blessed, and I'm just excited to keep moving. For sure. What else is keeping you busy, just hobbies-wise, man? Where, where are you living? I don't I, even know. I live in Denver, and, okay. um, you know, I'm a father. I have a seven-year-old, so, you know, obviously, as a parent, that's an inspiration in itself. Sure. You know, you got to show your kids who you want them to be. So, yeah. you know, I got to make sure I stay on the, the straight road and, and show my daughter the type of man that she needs to see yeah. and, and be there for all the, you know, fans and people who look up to Bo Scaife and, you know, help guys like me to, to do the same thing. So it's just about being an example to everyone I'm around and every time people see me, you know, hopefully they have good things to say about Bo Scaife. For sure. Um, especially the ones that name their kids after you, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Uh, that's a whole other story. Uh, whenever we get have somebody like you in town, you, we, we, we like to, to know a couple things. You, you're so close with Mac. Everybody wants to know, is he going to get back into coach? And I wish Mac was here right now. Hopefully we can ask him this maybe on Tuesday. What, what, what's your hunch with Mac? Um, I'm sure he probably has an itch. Yeah. You know, most coaches do. It's like something that's embedded in them. And, um, you know, when he's got a chance to be away from it a little bit, I don't know um, personally if he's going to be, do, to be doing that. And that is something like, I think people will be able to ask him mm -hmm. and, and find out on Tuesday if they're interested. But, you know, Mac's always going to be a great guy. He's done a lot for a number of people and helped change their trajectory of, of their life. So, yeah. you know, a lot of people are in debt to Mac Brown and, and they really love and care about him. But, you know, whatever arena he's in, whether it's on TV, whether it's coaching, you know, he's always influential. Yeah, I know. I found myself, uh, right when he started the media, it's like, Mac's already better, better than me at this. He's, he's amazing. It's like, <laughs> I, when I watch him on TV, and, you know, most guys on there, they're always finding the negative and everything. And he always gives the perfect answer where he has the opportunity to say something negative and mm -hmm. pull a team down or pull a player down. And he doesn't do that. He just says the, the best answer and gets around <laughs> that negative aspect, but it's still yeah. informative. Right, right. And so he's a great communicator. And that's one thing I think I've taken from him and learned from him is how to be a good communicator and how important that is sure. in any industry. And, and, and lastly, you know, now everybody's on board again with UT football after. Uh, you know how it works around here. <laughs> get, get whipped by OU, the sky's falling, win big, everybody's on board. What, where, where are you with, the, with this program in the direction with Charlie Strong? Well, that's the great thing about sports. You know, you can fall fast, <laughs> but you can rise just as fast. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, coming off the TCU game and being able to beat our nemesis mm -hmm of all time, yeah. our all time nemesis, um, and do it in a great fashion too. It wasn't a, you know, a close nail biter. I mean, they right. dominated the game. Right. This for them is, could be that moment. In sports, there are moments that changes teams, it changes individuals. And I think for the, this Texas Longhorn team, this was the moment where now they could see who they are. Yeah. Now they could see what they can be. 
and they're going to get used to that, and that confidence is going to keep building, 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 building. And, you know, before we know it, they're going to be right in the mix of things year after year after year because they found that moment that changed their trajectory. For sure. Bo, pleasure. Hey, man, I love you guys, yeah. man. I appreciate your support, and I hope to see everyone at the Fresh Set Experience October 20th. For sure.